Chronic malaise and fatigue, a recurrent sore throat, swollen cervical lymph nodes, wandering joints and muscle pain, fever of unknown origin. More and more people are suffering from these persistent, yet in most cases, medically unexplained symptoms. Frequently, the real causes are not identified. Do you also suffer from such chameleon-like symptoms? Have you or your doctor ever considered an activated Epstein-Barr virus as a possible cause? More than 90% of people worldwide are infected with the Epstein-Barr virus. Nevertheless, the virus is normally maintained under control by the immune system. Most people become infected in childhood and usually don't experience any symptoms. However, if the primary infection occurs during adolescence or adulthood, it can in some cases manifest as infectious mononucleosis and be accompanied by symptoms such as sore throat, swollen cervical lymph nodes, fever and severe fatigue. What is treacherous about the Epstein-Barr virus is the fact that, like many other herpes viruses, it establishes a lifelong infection. Concretely, it remains in a dormant state within specific immune cells, the B cells. Normally, the body's own defense mechanisms keep the Epstein-Barr virus under control. However, this is not always the case. In order to understand the virus, it may be helpful to imagine the human body as a house. The Epstein-Barr virus is figuratively locked in the basement of our body house and waits for its chance to sneak up the stairs and cause mischief. This may take some time, since the immune system is continuously trying to hold the virus back. Nevertheless, different factors such as individual genetic predisposition, chronic infections, persistent stress or malnutrition can alter the immune balance. When the immune system is compromised and the virus becomes reactivated, it can turn our body house upside down, leading to various symptoms which are usually misdiagnosed. In addition, if the EBV remains active long term, the risk of developing serious disease increases. Did you know, for example, that the virus has been associated with chronic fatigue syndrome, autoimmune diseases and even cancer? This is exactly where microimmunotherapy is recommended. It uses immune messengers that naturally coordinate the defense mechanisms in order to help the immune system regain control over the virus and prevent it from multiplying. Microimmunotherapy speaks the same language as the immune system and contributes to strengthening the body's defense mechanisms and its self-regulating capacities. In this way, the virus is figuratively locked back into the basement and returns to its dormant state without causing major harm. Microimmune therapy offers gentle, long-term immune regulation in case of EBV infections. If you are interested in this therapeutic approach, talk to your doctor or therapist and find out more on the website for microimmunotherapy, International Medical Experience.